Uh, more Champions League coverage here on Football Americas. More superlatives. Who's most likely to succeed? Let's start with Santiago Jimenez, who you'll be reminded is actually suspended. We haven't seen him yet in Champions League. Uh, frustrating. Missed out the game against uh, Atletico Madrid earlier this week. Uh, he says, quote, I'd be delighted to play for Real Madrid. Of course, it's a super big club. That would be fantastic, uh, he said in an interview. Okay, very interesting. We, by the way, know his father has also visited Atletico Madrid, so maybe uh, maybe Madrid future either way there for Santiago Jimenez. Meanwhile, also linked to Real Madrid, Alfonso Davies, his agent saying, there's interest from many teams. I'm sure that Real Madrid could be one of the clubs that would like to sign Davies. There are several Premier League clubs too. They all want to have one of the best left backs in the world. We'll see what happens. All right, Herc, so... Let's dip into our CONCACAF fantasies here. Who does Real Madrid need the most? Santiago Jimenez up top or Alfonso Davies at left back? No, oh, production, what a trap question. <laughs> I see what you did here. Uh, they need a nine the most, but that's not the question. It's who they need, Santiago Jimenez or Alfonso Davies. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go with Alfonso Davies. Let me just really quickly tell you something about Santiago Jimenez before I do. It's obvious that since Benzema left, there's that massive void for Real Madrid. Uh, Jose Lu is a competent striker, but he's certainly not the striker that makes you think he's going to score 20-plus goals a season uh, consistently like Benzema has and wouldn't be of that caliber, right? So much so that we're seeing the likes of Jude Bellingham leading the league, or excuse me, and the league, yeah, leading the, uh, not only uh, Madrid but the league in goals. So... That's where they're getting their goals from, not the nine position. So, yes, one could argue Santiago Jimenez, he's a nine. He would be a great player there. A nine would be a great welcoming act for Real Madrid. Do you know the last time an Eredivisie number nine went to Real Madrid? There was a transfer from the Eredivisie to Real Madrid. Ooh. Who? Who? Give it. Okay. The year was 2009, and it was John Klaas mm -hmm. Huntelaar. Remember Huntelaar? Oh, yes. I, I, player? Mexico fans remember Huntelaar very That's well. That's right. 2014. That's right. No, thank you. That, that year, he played for Ajax. He scored, well, in the three years he was at Ajax, I should say, he scored 76 goals in 92 games. Ridiculous, ridiculous output. By the way, that Ajax team had Edgar Davids, Luis Suarez, Wesley Snyder. They were there during his time. It was a pretty good team. The coach was a blast from the past. John Van Chip, remember him? Chivas coach. Ooh, okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Very, very far back. Very far back. 2009. So I, Madrid doesn't really dip in too much in the Eredivisie for their for their strikers like that. Mm -hmm. They like tried tried and proven. Um, so I will go with Alfonso Davies. Listen, some would say, wait a second, they just didn't they just buy Fernan Garcia? Uh, what about Ferland Mendy? They're they're both there. I get that. Um, and yes, Ferran Mendy is there. They brought in Garcia. But why are they then still playing Camavinga every time a left back? Mm -hmm. Because they don't trust either of them. Because in the big games, they want a Galactico. They want a player like Roberto Carlos, Marcelo. That's not one of these two guys. Alfonso Davies is the only world-class player that CONCACAF has. The only player that is one of the best in his position in the world. And what does Real Madrid want? They want one of the best in the positions. No, the best in the position in the world. Alfonso Davies is getting there. He learned a position in six months. He's going on year four now. This makes so much sense on so many different levels. Everybody wins. For Fonzie, there are mm -hmm. a few clubs you can leave Bayern Munich that are a step up. Yeah. Real Madrid is one of them. Alfonso Davies, the left back at Real Madrid. Could you imagine him and Vinicius, whoever they put out on that left wing? Maybe Mbappe at some point down the road? Uh, wow, you're talking about a, a real threat. Look, I think your point about the nine is true. Like right now, if I'm building Real Madrid's team, it's, it's the need. It's the need moving forward. And there's some precedent here, right? If you're a Mexico fan, of course, your first big superstar ever was Hugo Sanchez. So maybe we could think of Hugo Sanchez 2.0 here with Santiago Jimenez. I do think if he's flirting with Real Madrid, this is something that's in his mind. And I like that. I like that he's thinking of himself potentially playing her at the biggest club in the world. I get it. Feyenoord is a, is a long way from Real Madrid. And I think the reason you pull up those uh, Huntelar numbers is to say that he scored a lot in the Eredivisie. Maybe it didn't necessarily translate to La Liga. Is he that what you're after, saying? He left after one season. Okay. In La Liga, so you're saying the, the big numbers in Eredivisie don't translate 
uh, to La Liga. And they've proven that they don't translate maybe to other leagues as well. I think what we have to bank on here with Santiago Jimenez, and I'm sure what the people around him are banking on, is that he is a different player. He is not maybe the quality of some of the other guys who have gone through the Eredivisie and dominated, that he is indeed at another level. And I think the production we're starting to see this season, both in goals and assists, involvement with other players, uh, is proof of that. Is he ready right now for Real Madrid, man? Not like Alfonso Davies is ready. Davies is way closer to Real Madrid level than Santiago Jimenez. But if, if you're a Real Madrid fan, I think they would tell you the priorities up top, not at left back. Yeah, priorities up top, and I think they're waiting for Mbappe, and Mbappe will eventually get there, and he'll probably play that nine position. Now, there's no bigger fan of Santi Jimenez on this show than myself. I believed in the kid when he was still in Cruz Azul. I, I still remember around the MLS All-Star game versus Liga Mekis All-Star, where you asked me, who would you take right now, mm -hmm. Ricardo Pepe or Santi Jimenez? That and, was at the height of the Pepe hype train as well, by yes, the way. And, and in the future, and I still said Santi Jimenez. I believed in him that much. He's proven me right, but there are certain echelons to get mm -hmm. there. You mentioned Hugo Sanchez. Hugo Sanchez didn't go straight to Real. He went to Atletico. Correct. Proved Correct. at Atletico, and then he went to Real. So there, Real has a certain pedigree with its nines, a certain way of doing things, and I would love a massive club for Santi Jimenez. I believe, that, I believe that much in that kid's mentality, his work ethic, his environment. He's got a good support system around him with his father, uh, but all in due time. You know what could be a good uh, midway step? between the Dutch league and Real Madrid, Borussia Dortmund.